If the ETH ETF gets approved this week, these five altcoins could see explosive growth and as Bitcoin set to reach 90k before another major correction. This is your Altcoin Buzz News. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when I drop the latest content. Follow us on Twitter, AltcoinBuzz.io, and as always, do not financial advice, and we wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. Today's YouTube news is sponsored by Tectum. If there's one downside to big public blockchains like Bitcoin, it's that everything is public. If someone can figure out your wallet address, they can see every transaction you've ever had in that wallet. When it comes to bringing privacy to Bitcoin transactions, Tectum offers a solution, and that's their soft notes. A soft note works like paper money in set denominations that you choose. And like paper money, you can choose to transact with your Bitcoin anonymously if you want. One of the last steps towards major adoption of Bitcoin for payments is some level of privacy, and Tactum and its soft notes now provide that. With soft notes, you can transact with Bitcoin faster and more anonymously. Try Tactum soft notes today with the link down below. Bitcoin's 14% surge over the past week has convinced traders that could be the real deal market pump, with another correction not expected until it reaches $90,000. Crypto trader Roman said, I believe this is the real deal market pump as fundamentals and technicals are providing confluence. They explained Bitcoin's price decline from its all-time high around $73,750 to a 21% drop to $58,000 on May 2nd was a much needed correction for higher prices in the future. Roman pointed to the bullish reversal pattern seen on the Bitcoin chart this week as a strong indicator that the price won't drop into another consolidation period until it surpasses its March 12th all-time high of $73,750. Roman added, I think we'll move to at least $90,000 to $100,000 before we see another consolidated period or correction. Bitcoin's recent price spike comes amid heightened speculation that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission could be moving to approve a spot Ether ETF, which analysts and the broader community have doubted over the past few weeks. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has become one of a small group of politicians and government officials to support cryptocurrency innovation. The move comes weeks after the former president declared himself crypto's candidate. His statement pushed cryptocurrency further into the spotlight of important subjects of the upcoming election. The Trump campaign now accepts cryptocurrencies for donations through Coinbase, which include Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Ethereum, USD Stablecoin, Solana, and XRP. Trump's embrace of cryptocurrency transcends mere fundraising tactics and has evolved into a rallying cry for his supporters. Furthermore, many investment experts see Trump's cosign of cryptocurrency will bode well for digital assets. Ton has emerged as one of the top performing layer one blockchains in 2024, according to the latest analysis by CryptoQuant. Demonstrating a remarkable 118% outperformance over Bitcoin since the beginning of the year, Ton has stood out in a stark contrast to other popular Layer 1 chains, which have struggled to gain momentum. Among major blockchains, only Ton and BNB have significantly outpaced Bitcoin in this period. This relative strength, combined with the robust network effect provided by Telegram, positions Ton as a particularly noteworthy cryptocurrency to monitor during this bull run. The surge can be attributed to its vibrant and expanding ecosystem, which has attracted a growing number of developers and users. A notable project on the Ton network is Notcoin, which began as a viral Telegram game aimed at introducing users to Web3 on the blockchain. Notcoin's white paper is unconventional, consisting of nine pages, with the first page titled Notcoin White Paper November 2023, and the remaining eight pages being blank. It was simultaneously launched on Binance Launchpool and OKX Jumpstart. Supporting Ton's performance are several key partnerships that the Open Network has carried out in the past couple months. More recently, prominent stablecoin issuer Tether and the Open Network teamed up with Ubit Mobile App to facilitate USD to fiat transactions. The move will enable Ton users to use Ubit's tap and pay technology to pay merchants in fiat currency while spending USDT. Our partners at Commonwealth have just announced a major update saying excited to announce that Commonwealth has finalized a major tier one listing that will go live on the 30th of May. The public sale early pool starts on the 22nd of May at 11 a.m. UTC, the public sale open pool on the 23rd of May at 11 a.m. UTC, and exchange listings go live on May 30th, centralized and decentralized. Your only chance to get the wealth token before the centralized and decentralized listings is via the paid network ignition public sale on the 22nd and 23rd of May. Commonwealth brings early stage VC access to the 99%. Fully decentralized, fully on chain, the way it was meant to be. Check out Commonwealth and their early public sale today with the link down below. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission reportedly reached out to major U.S. exchanges to update their applications to list and trade spot Ether ETFs. According to a May 21st Reuters report, SEC officials contacted the NASDAQ, the Chicago Board Options Exchange, or SIBO, and the New York Stock Exchange to update and change existing spot Ether ETF applications before the regulatory deadline. On May 23rd, the commission must decide whether to approve or deny Vanek's spot Ether ETF 
after delaying the process for 240 days. Requesting U.S. exchanges to make such changes could be a sign of regulatory approval. On May 20th, two ETF analysts raised their odds that the SEC would approve a spot ETF tied to Ether from 25% to 75% after hearing chatter that applications should be expected to accelerate their 19B4 filings. If the SEC approves Vanek's application, it could lead to approvals for spot Ether ETFs offered by ARK21 shares, BlackRock, Fidelity, Hashdex, and Vesco Galaxy. Leshka shared on X, ETH ETF can be approved in May. ETH grew by 25% in a day, but Ethereum ecosystem altcoins haven't reacted yet. It's pretty obvious that we will see ETH at $10,000 one day, but altcoins can make 10 to 100x. Leshka then goes on to share a list of altcoins that could make those types of gains. First, they added Pepe saying, Pepe is here to make ETH meme coins great again. Currently the main meme coin on Ethereum, there are no doubts it's going to surge considering such positive meme coin sentiment. Next is Graphlink, an AI-powered no-code blockchain and ecosystem for simple on-chain automation and dApps. It also features Instant Wizard app to create and deploy automations with a few clicks and marketplace for buying and selling. Third, Ondo Finance is an open and decentralized investment bank designed to service and connect various stakeholders in the DeFi ecosystem, including DAOs, institutional, and retail. Fourth being the Render Network, which offers decentralized GPU computing power for 3D content creation, allowing artists to scale rendering tasks globally at lower costs and faster speeds. And fifth, Pendle Finance, a permissionless yield trading protocol where users can execute various yield management strategies, use native AMM, and yield tokenization systems. The blockchain development firm Koti announced that its Koti V2 developer network is now live, bringing advanced garbled protocols to the blockchain for the first time. This marks a major milestone for the blockchain industry as a whole, bringing a layer of confidentiality that unlocks countless use cases that were previously impossible to develop using Web3 ecosystem. Koti V2 facilitates data sharing, verification, and multi-party computation without compromising the confidentiality of the underlying personal information. The launch of the developer network coincides with the new grant program, allowing developers to experiment and build with this technology and be rewarded for their contribution. The Koti Foundation has set aside a total of 400 million Koti tokens from the existing supply in a grant program in order to supercharge rapid growth, inspire groups to innovate with new use cases, and explore the full range of opportunities that a privacy-centric Web3 ecosystem can provide. While experienced teams have been working to build out new Web3 use cases for over a decade, this entire area of blockchain has been completely inaccessible. Development teams can use the Koti v2 developer network to build using one of the best techniques within multi-party computation for preserving private information, a cryptographic technique called garbled circuits. The developer network is designed for rapid experimentation with new smart contracts using Koti v2, which is an easy-to-use, accessible EVM environment using the familiar native programming language Solidity. 